That's it from us at Keys TV News. This is not only our final show of the academic year, but also mine personally. I've been your male anchor since October and it's been nothing but a pleasure. I'm not a journalism student, but instead I'm studying for an MA in wildlife film. I've never had any presenting experience before, so this really has been a huge challenge for me, but certainly a most satisfying one. And now if you want to get involved with Keys TV News next year, then just do it. It's an incredible um, experience and my participation has given me an amazing insight into how a news show is run. And I think I may have caught the journalism bug. The team I work with every week are just amazing and particular thanks must go to Rachel Hesslehurst, Sophie Dolson, Emily Bergen, Sarah Jones, Neil Salmon, Martin Williams and of course Ross Lees McCowan. A special thanks must also go to Ollie Caporn, Joe Reynolds and the Bath Abbey Tower Tour team who I know have always supported me here at Keys TV News. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Good morning and welcome to Keys TV News. I'm Tom Rowlands. And I'm Tiffany Sweeney. Welcome to our 12 hour marathon in aid of comic relief. I think when you're a Blue Peter presenter, you've got to get stuck in because otherwise you don't make the most of the job you're in. And whenever Comic Relief come calling, it's very difficult to say no. Which is, they fund so many charities and I'm looking to get to go and see where that money goes. So it's impossible to say no. Wearing red noses, they're all wearing wigs, some of them have got fancy dress on, but it's all about how the journey and how they've actually taken part to get here today. Good morning Tom, Tiffany, I hope you noticed everybody, I have got the Comic Relief t-shirt on, everybody's doing a fantastic job, I've worked in Jersey a long while, this is a great programme today, well done everybody. No doubt up and down the country, people sitting in baths of baked beans and goodness knows what else to raise money, as of course we are here at the University of Salford with this great 12 hour marathon. So exactly. In the office we've got Jessie J shaving her hair off. Now why haven't you done that Tiff? Come on, 12 hours. I've got my wig on here. Stuck on by glue, look. Manchester-based artists Jez Dolan and Joseph Richardson have uh, teamed up with the language professor Paul Baker to revive the secret language of Polari. I said in the link before, aren't Nelly fakes? Earrings. Earrings. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay, what about basket? Ah. Are we allowed to say oh. that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Could mean the same as package. Okay, yeah. We have to be <laughs> careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It isn't past the watershed yet. It's only yes. 7 yeah. in okay. the morning. Yeah. Andrew Cooper is the academic director of Media City UK who is joining us this morning to talk about how the Media City UK campus is continuing to improve its media facilities and opportunities for its students. The facilities are fantastic but it's all about what you do with them and um, I've, I'm on record already as saying that the journalism students in particular have led the way and I think this broadcast for Comic Relief is further example of that. And I'm absolutely delighted with the way that the students are pushing the limits and the barriers all the time. I can confirm we are definitely pushing the limits. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to Business Time. Coffee and cake. Welcome to the Know. News Immigration Special. But Gossip Queens, thanks for watching and keep those donations coming in. He saw the man yesterday and he was there for you. Hi, my name's Annie Kearney and I'm from Melbourne in Australia. 